this is manrup kaur and we gonna study accounts but before that we should know what commerce means before entering into a commerce faculty one should know what commerce and its related terms means so we gonna study about commerce trade aid to trade and many other related terms which are most probably used in our commerce faculty and then we will come on our main subject that is accounts so so what does commerce means commerce is the exchange of goods and services especially on large scale it includes legal economic political social cultural and technological system that operates in a country or in an international trade so it's basically exchange of goods which is occurred on large scale and can be occurred legally economically politically socially culturally technologically in a country or outside a one's own country so in short commerce is some total of trade and aid to trade so first of all trade it involves the transfer of goods and services from one person or entity entity is the business unit uh, in which all the transactions occur to another often in exchange for money economists refer to a system or nationalists that laws trade through market online means economists are the system or network which allows trade occurring through market or online means that uh, trade can be occurred even online as uh, teaching can be occurred online there is one important term barter system which we have studied earlier in our 10th class that is a uh, earlier form of trade in which there was exchange of goods the both people where both people satisfy the needs of each other now coming on to aid to trade aid to trade are those activities which are necessary for smooth flow of goods from producers to consumers means smooth flow of goods there is no restrictions in our trade so these are the activities which facilitate which facilitate means easy movement of trade by removing trade barriers in buying and selling goods in buying or selling goods there are some restriction to remove those restrictions or to facilitate the trading we have a to trade so you might be wondering what does aid to trade involves aid to trade involves transportation communication warehousing insurance banking advertisement salesmanship mercantile agent trade promotion global organization transportation means uh, transporting goods from one place to another and it is important as it removes the hindrance of distance it removes any restriction which is based on distance for example uh, if a uh, few goods are produced in our india and few are produced outside india so we can uh, get those goods in uh, inside our country or even states transportation also occurs within states like we can order banarsi sarees into punjab and we can even export or we can even uh, send our famous uh, fulkaris of punjab into other countries like rajasthan banaras or any other country any other state actually so this is transportation and it hin- removes the hindrance of distance now communication it removes the hindrance of information information is the most important thing as we can get information from one place to another only and only through communication so we need communication system to be very strong now warehousing first of all we need to know what does warehouse means warehousing warehousing uh, removes hindrance of time warehousing actually means 
place where you can ha keep finished goods or raw material when you have produced finished goods you can keep finished goods th uh, there uh, even you don't have customers right warehousing removes the hindrance of time for example uh, you are not having customers at a particular time what you are doing is keeping the finished goods, goods in a warehouse and uh, whenever they uh, whenever your customers are increasing or you are having too much customers you can sell those finished goods uh, in stored in wa warehouse so it removes the hindrance of time now insurance insurance removes the hindrance of risk banking banking removes the hindrance of finance we can get loans we can even uh, deposit our money advertisement advertisement removes the hindrance of publicity salesmanship salesmanship help in selling products mercantile agent help in legal affairs trade promotion help in promotional aspects global organization helps in globalization which we have earlier studied that is uh, globalization actually include liberalization promotion and globalization global organization includes lpg that is liberalization globalization and uh, promotion giving you all a short summary on what business means i'm telling you about business in accounts chapter because it will uh, link us to accounts how we will let us know a business is actually defined as an organization or enterprise entity which is uh, explained to you that is business unit engaged in commercial industrial or professional activities commercial industrial or professional means where we produce goods we get raw purchase raw materials we produce, uh, produce goods uh, raw materials into finished goods or we can produce services so businessman involves number of activities he sell goods to hundred of people for cash or on credit it can be on cash or on credit it purchase from large number of supplies spend on lot of money so both purchasing and uh, spending is done so what kind of payment does a businessman have to face so payment what are the payments that businessman have to give uh, like they have to pay stationery that is used in office they have to pay to the workers they have to pay for advertisement they have to pay for auditing sold scrap receive interests on deposits pay interests on loan and all these terms are endless these all terms are endless there are so many payments which we have to do so auditing is actually uh, checking of uh, one's function so we have to pay for auditing also for more uh, no knowledge of auditing you can check into my description now accounting accounting is a tool that replaces your memory so we know that we have to make all these payments so for all these payments uh, we need a sharp mind because we have to remember but no one can remember if each and every kind of payment and a uh, number which we have to pay money which we have to pay the amount which we have to pay so these all books are uh, these all payments are written in a book that is accounts so accounting is a tool which replace your memory so focus here accounting is a tool which replace your memory for we will know further about accounting in our next video so till then bye bye please subscribe to my channel if you like the content and for more content just click on the notification bell so that you will you will be notified every time whenever i post a new video so this was the part one of our accounting part two will be uploaded tomorrow